and a new venue. CBC's Anne Marie Burke reports. Dismiss all rumors. NAPSA is very much on. Starting next Monday, February 15th, at the new venue, the Usain Bolt Complex at UWI. Along with this move, organizers have stepped up their game technologically with a communication in stadium headset system to improve the efficiency of staging the event, streaming results TV, and even a special platform which allows easier access to the meets results. For both the PE teachers within the call room area, as well as the spectators within the stands that we're going to have the paying patrons on the eastern side, we're going to be introducing various QR barcodes, which they will be able to swipe using their phones, and that will allow every single person that does that to be instantly linked to all of our results and our website page. So once they do that, they have instant access. And throughout the day, as you know, there are a number of events going constantly. So after every series of events, spectators and the PE teachers are able to instantly go to the results on their phone or whatever device they're using, which will help facilitate them in knowing the results. Pine Hill has once again renewed their commitment as title sponsors. It's their 15th year of sponsorship. Category manager at Bikes Holdings, Henry Yearwood, sees corporate support as very important to the overall development of the sport. The investment that Clifford decides every year is a necessity for Wabisco, that Chaffet decides is an absolute critical component, that the nation sees the value of the, the, the support to help the, these children between this very critical stage to understand to understand competition, to, to, to get an opportunity to be, to be recognized. I think that's one of the most critical components of, this, of the world of sport, the opportunity for a child to be validated in one way or the other. We at Banks Holdings are very, 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 very happy and we remain committed to help these children to see what they're worth and where their values lay. Outside of bringing glory to their various schools, this year athletes will be vying for a place to represent the island at the Caribbean Union of Teachers Biennial Championships in Tortola, the British Virgin Islands. Barbados, being one of the major players at that meet, having dethroned Jamaica, Trinidad, and the major players, Bahamas, in 2012 in Jamaica, and again being first runners up in Guyana in 2014, would be this year, um, leaving no stone unturned in defending the, the positions. As mentioned, NAPSA gets going on February 15th with the Obadele Thompson Zone, followed by the Andrew Blackett Zone, Anton Norris, Patsy Callender, and James Redburn Zones. The quarterfinals are set for March 2nd, the semifinals March 9th, and the big final is March the 16th. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports.